Good morning, everyone. I am Hillary Halstead Scott, and I am so excited to share a behind the scenes studio tour with you today. We are really excited to welcome Emily Schaefer, our 2018 Halstead Grant winner. Hi, Emily. How are you? Hi, Hillary. I'm great. How are you? I'm so good. Thank you for joining us. We are really looking forward to checking out your studio. Oh, I'm excited to show it to you. <laughs> Oh, very cool. So one of the reasons we invited Emily to give us a little tour today is that this is a new space, right? Yeah, it's totally new. Um, been here for a few months. Um, that, that's exciting. Can you tell us a little bit about why you decided to move your space and what your setup was like before? Sure, yeah. Um, I was previously in a home studio. It was back in the woods, and it was so great. Um, I was able to make a lot of really awesome things with a lot of quiet, um, but I decided it was time to be part of the community and be in downtown elsewhere. Um, this location is really great because a lot of people have to drive through elsewhere to get to Canadian National Park, mm -hmm. and it's just kind of like a lively um, downtown. So yeah, I saw this space and I talked to the building owner and then, um, I'm excited to be part of the building now. <laughs> That is exciting. So you mentioned that it has, you know, access to the public. Is is retail space a part of your plan? Yeah, it's definitely part of the plan uh, for the future. Hopefully, um, hopefully the near future. But um, right now, I have it set up as a studio, and I do have a small little retail space set up. Um, but it will definitely um, grow from now. So, well, that's yeah. exciting. And look at all that beautiful brickwork. It looks like an old building. I know. It is a really old building. Um, it's actually only ever had women-owned businesses in it. Um, and wow. building owners, um, Jess and Melissa, um, they own the spa and the salon that's mm -hmm. downstairs. They, they are just like remodeling this whole building. Wow. Um, and the Space. used to be office space with drop ceiling and drywall and they just tore it all out mm -hmm. and now it's just inspiring in space that I just love to be in. Oh, it's really beautiful. Well, and what fun neighbors yeah. too, huh? What do they think of your metal smith nails? Do they give you a hard time? <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely down there and um, they're definitely going to do something to my hair eventually and <laughs> my eyebrows, but that's all fun. <laughs> oh, that's cool. It's great to have friendly neighbors. Well, Emily, we would love to take a little look around your space there and check out your bench. Can you give us a tour? Oh my God, they are right over here. Um, this is where I keep orders and my supply order. Um, so just kind of keep it organized there. Um, come over here, I organized my work into collections. Um, so I had collections kind of organized into these boxes. Is um, that finished work, Emily, or is that work in progress? This is all finished work. It's all actually in little bags. Um, nice. So keep everything kind of like airtight. Um, just to keep it nice and clean for a show mm -hmm. or if I have the, the gallery. Um, so it's all ready to go. Um, next, I have my bench. This is my first jewelry bench ever. Um, oh. First open my business, I was renting a studio. Um, so it's pretty cool in the past like year and a half, almost all of these tools are something that I've I've just purchased. Um, mm -hmm. So that's my bench here. Over here, I have all the tools I use it. Most of my work is made from wire. Mm -hmm. So that's a um, silver stock there um, mm -hmm. that we are constantly pulling from. I have this workbench here that has a second bench pin. This is what I do for the bench. Um, and it actually works really great. You can just clamp on a bench and pin and you're good to go. Um, but the cool thing now is that we have then and we can both work at the same time. Right on. Really yeah. <laughs> 
Um, well, that's that's an exciting step to bring in an assistant. Yeah. Totally. Yes, that was a really big um, game changer for me. Um, and to be able to have the space for us both to work at the same time mm -hmm. has really changed the way my business has flowed. <laughs> I bet. I bet. Yeah. Well, and it looks like you have a nice view out those windows. Tell us what your street is like. Oh, yes. I have a wonderful view of downtown um, elsewhere. Um, I'm on the second story above the salon, which is titled The Alchemist. Very appropriate. <laughs> Very appropriate. Oh, look at that cute yeah. little main street. Is that a theater across oh, the street? Yeah. It's definitely, it's a growing town as oh, well. Cool. It's very cool to be part of this. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, let me show you the flip table. So we okay. have this table over here. Um, this is kind of how my, I organize my projects. Mm -hmm. Organize them into little boxes and pins. And that way, um, I, I can both work, um, pick up a project and get them at different stages and say, um, and it also, just, I need to be organized. My mind is very cluttered and I just mm -hmm. not be cluttered as well. <laughs> That's an amazing system. So can you show me um, the, the overhead view of that again? Do you sure, work from yeah. sample pieces or do you have like a work card for each design? What's the, um, what's the system you use? I do have um, kind of a system for each piece. Mm -hmm. And I have this binder that I will show you. <laughs> so each piece, especially for my wholesale and production line, mm -hmm. I have a photo of it with the materials mapped out and then a step-by-step -step direction. Personally, I think that I most of these pieces, I don't need to reference this, but if I need to do a supply order or if Olivia I need to make something or mm -hmm. um, it's just good to have a reference yeah um, but and then write whatever we're making on little scrap cards and just put it in the box that's a great system <laughs> emily wow very well done that binder is an amazing tool it's so great yes i'm yeah. i was very proud of myself you that. should be <laughs> you should be that's yeah. huge <laughs> <laughs> oh, very cool. So what's off to your right? It looked like you had a little photo space set up. Yes. Um, so over here, this is the intended retail section of the shop. But right now I have a photo studio kind of set up. Um, mm -hmm. I like to have lifestyle shots for um, my line sheet and my lookbook. So I like to have a I can just use my type of drapes for those and a roll of white paper and kind of make myself a big stage here. That's fantastic. Um, yeah. Um, so it worked out really well. Um, I was able to take my own photos and um, one of the stylists from downstairs modeled for me and she was absolutely beautiful. Um, so I'm really excited to finish up editing for that. Oh. What a fun project. Yeah, Emily, your Instagram is really well done. I encourage all of you watching to check out Emily's Instagram account. You have some gorgeous oh. lifestyle photos there. Thank you. I, I love Instagram. I, it's just such a great platform, and I think it's really important to have beautiful photos. Um, yeah. So I put energy into that. <laughs> <laughs> well, well done. It turned out so beautiful. And all of your shots of Maine in the mix are really enjoyable too. It's a huge part of my life. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's a big part of your story. Absolutely. Very cool. So Absolutely. what, um, is there a little display space there as well? Yeah. I mean, eventually this will all be display space, but, um, I have a small, um, table set up for, um, if anybody walks in because I am in the public now, um, and it's people who can walk in just like so it will set up a little sampling of my work. If anybody comes in and they're interested in any more, um, I'm easily able to pull from my little collection boxes. Um, so that's pretty nice to have here. Um, mm -hmm. And this big viewer I'm super excited about. I think everybody needs a big viewer in their studio. Um, yeah, I love that big round too. 
Olivia. Oh, hi, Olivia. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for filming for us today. <laughs> of course. I love that mirror. So, Emily, what's it like having people walk into your workspace during the day? I'm curious about that. That is definitely something that I'm having to get used to. Um, when I was in my home studio in the woods, the only person I would see was the UPS man, usually. <laughs> <laughs> um, but um, now it's it's really nice, and a lot of times um, it's it's someone I know or it's someone from the salon, um, mm -hmm. and. It's a try on jewelry. It's like I'm at a show. The conversations are very similar to that. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, it's I'm excited for this to transform and for more effects in that way. Mm -hmm. Well, it's great to get that constant feedback on your work too and um, response good. from different people. Yeah, that's fantastic. Yeah, and it's been great to have Olivia here as well so that work can keep um, moving. Mm -hmm. It's an interruption, so it's not a bad interruption. No, not at all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I hear you have a studio dog there, too. Do you have a puppy I friend? Do. Yeah. Do, do we get to meet him? Is he here today? Oh, he is here today. This is, like, my best friend. <laughs> oh. Uh, what's his name? He's here a lot. Hey, buddy. And, uh. He's, it's really great to have studio dogs because it forces me to take a break to go outside for a walk, which I uh, <laughs> if was not here, I probably wouldn't do. <laughs> yeah, it so. gets busy. What's his name, Emily? I didn't quite catch his name. His name's Brill. Brill. It's nice to meet you, Brill. We love studio dogs here at Halstead, too. There's always a few running around. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, well, Emily, oh, and look at your floors. Wow. Are those original floors in your studio space? No, they're not, but the building owners put them in here and they're just so beautiful. They are beautiful. <laughs> wow. Definitely what? careful around the bench. I have a floor covering. <laughs> yeah, it's so pretty. Well, what an inspiring place. Yeah, I'm very lucky. I'm very happy to be here. Yeah. So do you feel like it, the place that you're in now has influenced your work recently? Has it influenced my work recently? Um, I would say in terms of workflow, yes. Mm -hmm. um, it's just, I, when I come to work, like I really go to work. Mm -hmm. um, and whereas when I was home, there were things that would distract me. Um, like things to do in the house and here mm -hmm. I really get to work and I see just the air in here and the space and the ceiling height is really beautiful I just feel like there's it allows me to have space in my head as well oh that's interesting um, yeah yeah I, I mean I think environment is really an important thing to consider mm -hmm. when you're choosing a studio and it's and I'm just so much more inspired being here and ready to make work yeah Oh, well, congratulations yeah. on the move, Emily. We really look forward to watching your space grow. I'll definitely keep tabs on your Instagram account. I hope we can see lots of pictures as you build out your retail space. Totally. I will keep you updated. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Well, Emily, thanks for joining us. And congratulations on all of these exciting changes in your business this year. Oh, thank you so much. I'm so excited to see you guys in March. Okay. And for those of you watching, be sure to check out Emily's website and her Instagram. Like we said, it's an inspiring place online. Um, and catch us again next time for another studio tour.